glad yet again to come to you with the word of God. Remember we were doing Luke chapter 19 and today we are in verse 3 and I'm glad to come to you with the word of God again. And remember we saw last time uh, the seeking of Zacchaeus. But tonight allow me to share with you, uh, the Bible says in verses 3 of Luke 19 that Zacchaeus sought to see who Jesus was but he couldn't because of the crowd or the multitude and his stature. He was of a short stature. And so that's why he couldn't see Jesus, but he wanted to see who Jesus was. And uh, this is um, what I want to share with you. What is it exactly that uh, Zacchaeus saw in Jesus that he really wanted to see this man, Jesus? And number one, I want you to know what exactly Zacchaeus wanted to see in Jesus was the influence. He wondered what a kind of man is this that he can pull such a crowd. He can, he, he can pull such a popularity. And the number two, what Zacchaeus exactly wanted to see was the authority of Jesus. The Bible says, and he taught not as the scribes. And in another place, the Bible says that even the unclean spirit obeyed him the way he used to speak with authority. And this is the problem with any rich man. What they want to do is to control the multitude and walk in authority, influence and authority. This is a sickness with any big man, any rich man. Remember, we spoke of the riches of Zacchaeus. He was rich. He was a chief tax collector. And so he was wondering, how can Jesus pull such a multitude? What is the secret of his influence? And number two, what is his authority? <laughs> These are the things that Zacchaeus indeed wanted to see. But the Bible says he was short in stature. His authority, his influence was low, not compared to that of Jesus. So he was wondering, what kind of a man is this? And he wanted to see Jesus. This is what he wanted to see from Jesus. Not just Jesus himself, but the influence and the authority. And I want to give you a secret out there. If you will have influence and authority, then you need to submit. Submission is the secret of authority and influence. And it is in two dimensions. When you submit under the authority of the church, and number two, you submit under the divine will. These are the two dimensions. When you submit, then you walk in authority as a church, as a leader, as a person, as a pastor. You will walk in authority and influence. If you realize these two secret submission, but submission in a dimension of submission to the authority of the church and submission to the divine will. This is the secret I'm giving you. And this is what Zacchaeus wanted to see. The influence of Jesus and the authority of Jesus. That is what the Bible says when he says he wanted to see. He sought to see who Jesus was. But because he was short in stature, his authority, his influence was not matching that level of Jesus. And so he wanted to meet this man, just like politician. When they come to a city, many throng to stadiums, they want to see who is this man, so and so a politician. When they come into a place, people come in numbers. <laughs> they want to see who is this man. That his name is hard all over. I want you to know the secret of influence and authority is in submission and submission to the authority of the church and submission to the divine will. As a leader, as a pastor, as an, evangel as an apostle, whatsoever office that you're working in, be it uh, the normal work in your offices, submission is the key. Submission is the key. Submission is the key. Father, I pray with my brother, my sister out there. And I thank you for their lives. Lord, may they walk in influence and authority, even as they submit to the authority of the church and to the authority and to the divine will of God. In the name of Jesus, I do pray and believe.
Amen. Shalom. May the Lord bless you so much. This is Pastor Motuka. God bless you so much, so much. See you again.